Alright, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be installing Honda in my P28 ECU. Now if you don't know what Honda is, it's kinda old school but it's new at the same time. What this allows you to do is it allows you to change basically any parameters with your Honda ECU, timing tables, fueling tables, launch control, boost control, all type of stuff. And this is what's gonna allow the prelude to make some power. Cause I do plan on turbo in it pretty soon. Now there's a few things that come with Han data. First thing you got is the actual chip. This is what gets socketed to the ECU. It also comes with a USB cable. This is what allows you to connect it to your laptop. You will need a Windows laptop and you also need a copy of S Manager. I'll have that in the description below. It also comes with a new ROM chip, some pins, a jumper, and a resistor to install on the ECU. And last but not least, it comes with these two cables. I believe these allow you to to like run boost control and like run a wide band to the ECU. These are just like analog inputs to allow you to control other things, which I am going to get into because I believe with the H22A1 using a P28, it will not control the butterfly valves and the intake manifold. So I will be probably addressing that in the next couple videos. Now, mind you, this is not a tutorial at all. I'm just literally showing y'all me installing this. I will have a lot of information, basically all the information I use to figure this out in the description below. And once I get everything soldered and socketed and all that, I'm going to explain it thoroughly. That way you guys at least know what I did. That way if y'all want to, y'all can replicate it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this bad boy on. One thing I forgot to mention is that this is an automatic ECU. The way you know is the second to last number in your serial number, the A51. The 5 means automatic and I believe the 1 means manual. So I am going to go ahead and convert this to manual. I'm not 100% sure if that's necessary if you're using Honda, but I'm just going to do it anyway since I get it all apart. But I need to take it apart first. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so if you have an automatic ECU, a P28 that is, what you want to do to convert it is you want to take off RP17 right there and also you want to take RP18 to the left of it all and you want to jump RP18 so just add a wire from here to here and then nothing for RP17 so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Okay, so I got RP17 removed, then I got RP18 jump, and looking nice and clean, look at the back of the board, yup. So next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and throw this ROM chip on, that goes on IC4, and then a notch, you have to make sure that's going to the left of the board to match the notch on the board right there. Gotta get these pads soldered out, go ahead and slip this in and solder the chip on. Got the chip installed. Next thing I'm gonna do is these um, pins. 14 goes up here, 14 goes down here, and then four goes down here, and that's for data logging. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock those out now. So I'll solder it up and take it out. So here go the pins. I weren't able to get them all down all the way because some of the old solder just would not come out. No matter if I use a solder sucker or the, the braided, like whatever the hell you call that stuff, it was just not working. But I made sure to get some solder deep into the hole so all the pins are making contact. Now the next thing I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna address this J1 and R54, and that's right there. So J1 needs to be jumped, then R54 needs to resistor, which are right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bang that out real quick. Just like that, I am finished. 
So what I did do off camera was for J12, you have to cut that off. And then J1, that's a jumper, R54, resistor. Um, I believe that is it. I did this to convert it to manual right there, the jumper. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put the chip on. I also need to cut the hole for the USB port. Go ahead and take that outside and do that. Put it back together and test it. <laughs> Okay, so there's the stock ECU right there. I'm finna just go ahead and pull it out so I can go ahead and plug this in. It's on the passenger side. Floor well in a 93 Prelude. I'm finna go ahead and get that out so I can get this in. All right, so I got the Honda ECU in. I had to take this plate off to get the P13 out. Now the P28 is back there. I'm gonna figure out a better mount solution because that was kind of doing the most. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Oh, we got a green light. I didn't even notice. So the computer's booting up right now. I got S Manager right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up S Manager before I turn the car on. So I'm about to go ahead and um, turn the ignition on and just see what happens. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Okay, ignition is on and we got green lights, so I guess that's good. Um, let's look at the computer. All right, so I got the laptop plugged in. Uh, shout out to my homie for the laptop, but I think I'm gonna make an upgrade. I don't think the battery's any good on here. It'll get the car started. Uh, like I said, the lights on there are green. So just waiting on the computer to boot so I can load up a tune. So on here, I'm just gonna scroll down. I have a stock Prelude H22A tune, so that's what I'm gonna load up. So I'm not sure if it's detecting an ECU or not, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hit upload tune and just see what happened. Your S300 is not registered. Please register your S300 before uploading. All right, so I just did the registration. Now let's try to upload again and see what happens. Uploading. I guess it's done. Let's try to start it. <laughs> okay, so I'm finna try to start it. Uh, I just uploaded this tune. So let's just see what happens. Nothing. All right, so unfortunately, I still haven't got the car started. The board is reading fine. I'm not getting no error messages except this one sensor message distributor error and that's not allowing the fuel pump to kick on either now i'm looking at the board let me actually pull it out so i can show y'all so i've done a whole bunch of stuff off camera i was rechecking my solder joints all my solder joints look good but one thing i did notice that i've never noticed about this ecu was the caps are leaking just a little bit let me see if i can get the focus okay that's probably the best i can do but it is like this one's leaking um this one's leaking a little bit i can't see under this one so i'm not sure this one's leaking a little bit it's only a little bit i'm i'm like wondering i'm like did this happen like when i plugged it up for the first time because i don't ever remember seeing these caps and i've never seen like any leaking i, I looked over this ecu so many times i ended up just ordering a new recap kit of uh, eBay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just recap every single capacitor on here. Just gotta wait for it, it's kind of a bummer, but what can you do? So I'll see y'all when the caps come. Okay, so the new capacitors finally came and I got them all labeled out with uh, where they're supposed to go on the board. It is seven of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll have a link of these capacitors in the description below. It was just some eBay seller who, who sells a kit of capacitors for Honda ECUs. So one thing you have to check, make sure you're placing uh, the right voltages. These are like different voltages ranging from like 10 to like 16 to like 35. There's actually not even a 16 on the board, but it should be fine to replace um, one of these 10s with a 16. Also, I'm not 100% sure if these are polarity based. It's lines on each one and I'm pretty sure that means negative so i'm literally just gonna match that line to the ones i take off that way i don't mess anything up so without further ado let's go ahead and get this done it a recap ECU all the caps are new hey I ain't gonna lie the old ones were way worse than I thought it was hiding underneath the cap all the goddamn leakage and whatnot yeah you can see on that one like the legs are literally just breaking off some of them it was pretty bad so I'm hoping that that fixed my problem only one way to find out let's go put it back in the car well guys the recap did not do it, and I'm literally stuck. This fucking distributor error, um, the fuel pump ain't coming on. It's really got me nervous about this ECU. I'm about to pull it out one more time and look at it and see what I can do. So I finally got the damn car to run after so many days. 
what I did was I cut A7 on the ECU and I grounded that out to the door right there. That grounds out the relay so the fuel pump can kick on. And look at that, it's running. Yo, I'm finna mess with it a little bit. I literally just got it started. I just wanna mess with it and see what happens. All right, so there you have it. I ain't gonna lie, this shit has been kicking my ass, but I finally got it to work. It's definitely something with the ECU not sending a proper signal or I don't know if it's not grounding out the uh, relay for the fuel pump. Some is not working right. So what I did was I cut the piano A7 on the board and I literally just took my multimeter uh, little arm stuff, shoved it into the black and uh, green wire and I have it grounding on the um, the hand right there. And that keeps, keeps the fuel pump on. Now that will, it, it makes it stay on all the time if the key is on the on position. But that's fine for right now. I literally just wanted to get the car started on this ECU. That way I have something to look at. Let's look at the tune. Distributor error I was getting finally went away, so that's funny. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right there. In the next video, I'm gonna dive more into tuning the car, you know, hopefully actually taking it out because it's raining outside. I kinda don't wanna take it out right now. I'm gonna take it out get some logs, that way I can adjust it. This is just a tune I found on the internet. So I definitely wanna look over it. I'm not gonna be beating on the car too much. I just wanna look over it. I need to get a wide band too, so that's probably the next thing I'm gonna get. I'm speaking into the future right now. Right now, I got the car started. It's running a P28 Honda S300, which is so cool. If y'all got any questions or concerns, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Also, if anybody know what's going on with this whole fuel pump issue, let me know in the comments below. I done tried so many things. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.